There is a common theme in the psalm in the Old Testament reading for today. Following God does not deliver an easy journey. In Exodus, Moses does what God tells him. He goes to the Pharaoh and tells him to let God's people, the Israelites, go. In response, Pharaoh tells his slave masters to make the Israelites work harder, and the Israelites turn on Moses and Aaron. They've done the right thing, but it's led to trouble. Our psalm exemplifies trust in God, but the psalmist is clearly not having a happy time. I am poor and in misery, he says. In the day of my distress, I will call upon you. But he's confident in the promises of God. You are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call upon you. It's a prayer of supplication, calling on the Lord for help in a time of suffering and trusting in God's faithfulness. Moses is more direct in response to the attacks by both Pharaoh and the Israelites. Why have you done this, God? he asks. I've done everything you wanted, and you've done nothing. This is an abrupt complaint, even whining, and yet God is patient and reassuring. Just wait and see what I will do, he says to Moses. Let us follow that call to wait and see what God will do. And let's emulate the trust of the psalmist in God's faithfulness. As Hebrews says, let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who has promised is faithful. And as our neighbours are fearful, let's follow the instruction to consider how to provoke one another to love and good deeds, caring for those who are isolated and demonstrating God's faithfulness through our own actions.